<laughs> hey, Guffy. <Gaffey. laughs> okay. It seems like people have been sending me lots of videos on uh, the difference between men and women. <laughs> okay, so here we have a woman, gender equality, because women can do anything men can do. She's working, has security. Oh, she's going to keep people safe. So we have security being hired and paid the same salary as a man, as a woman. Remember, you hear all these women working twice as hard to get half pay. I see a whole bunch more women getting paid and not even working half as hard. But I digress. Let's see what the video shows. Woman walking this way, uh, sees a guy with a gun. And what does she do? Earn her money and warn everybody to safety. I'm getting out. I'm protecting myself. Perfect. Perfect. These guys are like, why is that crazy woman running? Why did she say anything when she ran by? What? Nah, that's all right. You're just a victim because you hired a woman for security because you wanted to be PC. So the guy walks in with a gun. What does this guy do? The other bouncer that's getting paid the same price as a woman that ran away probably has to do all the heavy lifting Probably has to, anytime something needs to be moved or picked up, he gets called. Meanwhile, she's got a bad back, a single mom, working hard, whatever. Watch how he handles it. Here we go. Oh, hell no. Bam. You want some of this? Yeah, let's go. Dude. Meat eater. Pink. Pink sweatpants woman. Dude with a bald head. Bald head, shaved head. Oh hell no. You go boy, that's what I'm talking about. Notice this stance. This is a this is a really classical takedown for a person with a gun. When I was teaching gun takeaways, this is exactly what you teach. If a guy pulls a gun on you, you want to dominate that gun with two hands and get your body out of the way. You push the gun out of the way and you get your body out of the way at the same time. And that split second, even if they shoot, they'll miss you. But once you lock onto those two hands with that gun, the fight's on. And, and your only job is control. Now, you leave the guy's other hand, so you may take a few punches. I know a lot of women don't want to do that because it hurts. But you may take a few punches, but you can get that gun, especially because you have leverage now. When somebody holds a gun, it gives you leverage. And leverage is a great asset when you're trying to disarm or tweak a finger or break a wrist or break a grip. So this guy does a really good job here. Um, goes down. The only thing that kind of defeats it is this guy immediately pulls away and he gets in front of him and he starts chasing him because he lets go of the gun. Had he not let go of the gun, it, he would have been a lot better keeping a guy behind him. Hang on, let's, let's see this woman run away. Ooh, man, she was strong and empowered. Did you see the speed? That woman was strong. Notice the way she pushed through these two men. She looked like George Costanza when there was a fire at a kid's birthday party and he knocked down all the kids and a little old woman. Inferno in there! An inferno! There he is, that's the left us. Anyway, I digress. Here we go. Two hands. See, when he grabbed it with two hands, he might have got, uh, he might have broke the finger and broke the grip. Now, again, when thugs carry guns, they don't check the safety. A lot of times they're not even loaded, they're for show. And maybe that's why it didn't go off. A lot of times they have the same old ass ammo that they bought when they bought the gun hot off the street and it was old and it's been underwater and it doesn't work anyway. Uh, so, I mean, there's all kind of issues with gangster guns. There's not a lot of gangsters out there that clean their guns and take care of them and shoot their old ammo and buy new ammo. Not, not a lot of criminals do that, okay? All right, uh, I guess we'll end that there on Strong Empowered Woman Week. Is that what this week is, this month? Whatever. I got to go do another video on the, on the first female Navy pilot that crashed her freaking plane, $100 million plane. That's my next video. All right, we'll see you all later.